AviarSuite is a freeware configuration and diagnostic tool, allowing local management of the device through COM port, remote management of the cloud account associated to the device, with possibility to save and recover files. AviarSuite is a portable program, you don't need to install it on your computer, just download and run it. After verifying the availability of an updated version, the initial window is shown from which it is possible to select the operating mode. Click Files if you want to open an existing configuration file, or create a new one for Avier. Or for Aviarbox, click to return to the previous window. Click on Remote if you want to retrieve the configuration from the web account of a remote device. Enter the identifier and the device password and confirm. Click on Local if you wish to recover the configuration from a device connected directly to the PC through a MobiLink cable. Select the COM port, enter the device password, and confirm. You can now view and change the settings of the local device, save the current configuration to file, or go back to the previous window. Click to view, edit or add users. Select the user from the list, or an empty position to add a new user, to view and change the settings. Enter a name for the current user, choose which bearer will be used by the user, and specify the identifier. You can assign a membership group, define the daily enable period, and the start and stop day. You can also specify for which days of the week the user will be active, and set the maximum number of operations, decreased at each use. At the bottom of the window the complete description of the settings. Once the setting is complete, confirm and send to the device or delete the user. Or create a new user. Cloning the displayed one. or remove all users. You can search for a user by specifying the name. If you want to reload the user's list from the device, hold down the shift key while clicking. Click to view, modify or add operating rules. Select an existing rule, or an empty position to add a new rule. Assign a name to this rule. Select the event that triggers the execution of this rule. Set up to five conditions that must be verified to execute the rule. The first operand. For example the status of digital input 1 equal to 1. It means active. The second operand can be selected from the list or directly typed if it is a value. For example the state of the input 1 equal to the state of the input 2. We also define that the average battery voltage is above 3800 millivolts. An operand can be selected from the list, or by directly entering a tag, if you know it. Set one or more commands to execute, for example the activation of output 1. You can also type a command directly instead of choosing it from the list. Once the setting is complete, confirm and send to the device.
or delete the rule. or create a new rule by cloning the displayed one. Or remove all the rules. If you want to reload all the rules from the device, hold down the Shift key while clicking. Click to view or change the device configuration. Select a device resource to view and change settings. For example, in the device group, change the name. Once the setting is complete, confirm and send to the device. For example, enable digital input 1. and give it a meaningful name. Or select the voltage mode for analog input 2. And define the measurement period, during which the average value will be calculated. Set which measured voltage value corresponds to zero. Confirm and send to the device. Or restore the factory setting for the current resource. Or restore the whole configuration. At the bottom of the window, the complete description of the settings available for each resource. If you want to reload the configuration from the device, hold down the Shift key while clicking. Click to open the terminal window. Select the COM port to which the device is connected. In the main window you can type the commands and see the answers. Some typical operations can be performed directly from the toolbar. Device informations. The list of last events. The report of current status of resources. Switch off the device. Click to view a list of predefined commands and send them to the device. This list can be modified. You can also create multiple lists. Click to close the terminal window.